Hi everyone, I'm James, Solution Consultant, here to show you how you can use Ultimate to automate support in whatever messaging channels your customers use. We're going to take a fictitious e-commerce company. Let's call it Ultimate Shopping. We sell all kinds of things, we're growing really quickly, and we want to make it easy for customers to reach us, but without needing to manage contacts in multiple systems. So that's why we're using Zendesk and Sunshine Conversations to connect multiple channels. But we're concerned about providing round-the-clock support and the additional volumes of incoming requests, so we want to use a virtual agent to help handle the increasing volumes that we expect. And that's why we're using the Ultimate platform to automate different interactions. There's one interaction in particular that we'll look at to see how it works in different channels, and that's for login problems. So here's how we've set up this interaction. The virtual agent already understands the 109 languages supported by Ultimate, but we've added replies in English, Finnish, and German to cover the markets where we operate. When the virtual agent recognizes that the customer has a problem logging in, the usual fix is to send them to the password reset page. But if they say that didn't work, it can continue with other options, and if nothing helps, in the end, forward to an agent. So let's see this dialogue in action in the different channels we want to support. First, we've added a widget to our website. It's located on every page, and the idea is to make it as easy as possible for customers to contact us. So let's start by reporting the login issue. You'll see that the link that's returned is nicely formatted as a clickable button. And when we get to the options later on, they're also formatted as buttons. Now, we know that we have customers who will prefer to use our app, so we've built in messaging here as well using the Sunshine Conversations SDK. So let's see what the interaction looks like here. And as you can tell, it's really quite similar to the app. Sorry, to the, the website where the links and the buttons are nicely formatted. And since WhatsApp is really popular in some markets, we've integrated Sunshine Conversations to our WhatsApp business account. So when I write to this number, it's also the virtual agent that responds. And just for fun, I said hello here in German, hallo. And as you can see, it responded in German, but no worries. I can just ask if the virtual agent speaks English and switch the language. Now, WhatsApp doesn't support all the same message types, which you can see with the responses in this login issues flow. But what we can do is customize parts of each dialog so that we work optimally for each channel. So all we have to do is add a conditional block to split a flow at certain points to send specific messages for WhatsApp, for example. Now, in general, we've designed this virtual agent to let customers talk to an agent if they want to. So I'll just say I want to talk to an agent, and we can see what it's like handing over to a human in all of these channels. So on the Zendesk side, I can see the conversation coming in and I can take it. And in this ticket, I can see the entire transcript of what the customer has talked about with the virtual agent. And I can also see extra information that the virtual agent has added, like tags for the topic of the conversation and custom fields. Since WhatsApp is designed as one never-ending conversation, it works so that either the virtual agent responds or the human agent responds via a ticket. So as long as a ticket is open in Zendesk, that's where incoming messages will go. All I have to do is close the ticket. And let's say I write back in WhatsApp sometime later. It's now the virtual agent that responds. So let's check it out in our app. In this case, we want customers to be able to open multiple conversations at the same time. 
That way they can see their previous interactions as well. What the ultimate virtual agent can do is update the display name of each conversation based on the topic, which makes it much easier to keep an overview of these previous interactions. And if we go back to our website, it's a little bit different because the widget is available on our public pages, meaning we often have conversations with anonymous users. So before we transfer to an agent, we want to ask for the user's name and email address. We do that, we can do that conversationally, ask the question, have the user give an answer, but we want to take advantage of the forms that you can use on the web with Sunshine Conversations. So instead of asking for each piece of information one by one, we just send this form and over in Zendesk, we get the same information that we had with WhatsApp. So as you can see, no matter what the channel, we can use a virtual agent to automate what's possible, take advantage of the different channel capabilities like rich messages, forms, displaying multiple conversations, and making sure that agents have all the details for cases that can't be completely automated. Now, we already saw how you can use conditional blocks to customize particular flows for individual channels, but you might want a completely different virtual agent in some cases. So let's say at, Vir at Ultimate Shopping, we have a sub-brand that specifically resells shoes at a discount, and we want some unique flows for that specific channel. In particular, the greeting should highlight some specific options, and we want to make it a little bit more promotional and use carousels to highlight products. So in this case, we've set up a uh, greeting and a carousel here showing the top selling items. Right now, this is all configured directly here in the dialog, but what we could do is convert this to a dynamic carousel, which would let us pull this information from another system via API. But for now, we'll just stick with this. All we need to do is connect this virtual agent to our uh, existing virtual agent. We can do this by adding the virtual agent to a Sunshine Conversations group. And here, all we need to do is specify the ID for the transfer group in Zendesk. So that's the default group that we'll, we'll hand off to when necessary. And now, when we go to the group settings, we can add a routing rule so that messages coming in through Facebook will be routed to this specific virtual agent. So it, any message coming in through Facebook Messenger will go to the ultimate discount shoes virtual agent. So let's take a look at that in Facebook Messenger. This is the page for our ultimate discount shoes. And I'll get started here. You'll notice it starts with this greeting. I can select to view the top sellers and select sneakers, for example. And it shows the results in a carousel. Now, this conversation didn't get handed over to an agent in Zendesk, so there also isn't a ticket that records it. But what we can do is add an action to create a ticket for any conversation that doesn't get handed over to an agent. We just specify a group ID in Zendesk, and then when the session ends on the ultimate side, a ticket is created automatically, and we can set up a view to see all of the bot handled tickets. So that way you always have a full overview of all the interactions you've had with your customers all in one place. Now, we can also see metrics on things like bot handled rates in our revamped analytics, which besides a new look and feel also has advanced features and more customizable ability. We're in the process of adding a few more features and soon you'll be able to also get an overview at the channel level and filter by intents or labels as well. 
That's how Ultimate Shopping can have an intelligent virtual agent provide round-the-clock support in all the messaging channels their customers use.